A concept paper revealed the lady was not for turning. The problematic private arbitration clause under TTIP, ISDS was still on the table. But a few tweaks. More state protection and a joint EU-US arbitration body would be set up. Had EU Trade Commissioner Cecilia Malmström offered enough? It's a positive step in the right direction. And it's also clear that the old-fashioned ISDS instrument is non longer uh, adequate for modern trade policy. On the other hand, the scope for investment courts are too broad in my opinion. As she took her seat, Ms. Malmström underlined that these were not just cosmetic changes and gave her reasons for sticking by the investor state dispute mechanism. The US have never integrated any international law in domestic legal system. It will put European companies in a disadvantage and there are cases where uh, there can be discrimination, there can be licenses, expropriation that is done in a discriminatory way. Despite that, others still weren't warming to ISDS. Vous ne faites toujours pas la démonstration de savoir pourquoi il faut ISDS entre l'Europe et le Canada, ISDS entre l'Europe et les États-Unis. La Banque mondiale, l'OCDE disent pas besoin d'ISDS pour augmenter les flux d'investissement. Needed or not, ISDS looks set to stay, but the rumblings over how to reform it will continue.